All right, friends, it's T, and I'm back, man, with another video, and it's uh, on uh, Off The Chains Fitness. So uh, <clears throat> my, my friend here, Off The Chains Fitness, has done another video about me. All right, about something that I've said, and uh, okay, let's review this video. Please, let's help free whatever from the science prison. Fruits are not poison. Um, I'm not stuck on the science prison. Uh, people ask me to prove what I said. So I use science to prove what I said according to my experience. All right. Let's review this video. <laughs> hey, genetic beast. Look. <laughs> hey, pick it up. Hey, look, it's engineered bananas, man-made engineered bananas. Cool. Are those, did you find those out in wild in nature? Or did you find those at the supermarket <laughs> that were grown on collective farms and engineered? Oxalates, man. Look at me aging. Oh, my God. You are aging. That's what oxalates do. They form crystals in your joints. That's why people are complaining of uh, tendonitis and all those problems that they have with their knees and everything because that's oxalitic crystals forming in there. They can form everywhere. Then you get oxalate dumping. can come through your eyes, your skin, give you skin diseases like uh, our good friend Jason Blaha. <laughs> Plus, look at your hair. Your hair fell out like Jason Blaha. He too is a vegan like you, eating fruits and vegetables. All these people that eat all these things, your hair starts to fall out. I told you, I had old videos on my old channel. Remember my old channel? I did all those things with Simon. We ate fruits and vegetables and they poisoned me. They fucked my mitochondria. They fucked my satellite cells. They made me weak. They screwed my mitochondria. They, uh, I couldn't move. I couldn't do sports. It, it messed me up completely. So that was the experiment. So I know based on my, exper my experience, these fruits and vegetables are toxic and poison. And then I went to look for the answers in science. And then I produced it to prove what I say. Get it? Yeah, man. Yeah, they have oxalate, oxalitic crystals, oxalitic acid. It's a known fact. Go to Dave, Dave, Dave Chafee's channel and he'll explain these things to you if you don't understand it, okay? He's a doctor, yes. I'm falling apart. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Freaking <laughs> more oxalates, more freaking poison. Yes, more poison, more oxalates. Well, guess what? Alcohol is poison, but you didn't see people dying right away from it, do you? Uh, cigarettes are poison, but you don't see people dying from it right away, do you, right? Do you? They're, they're partaking in these. Okay, so these have oxalates. They have poison in them. They're poisonous. And so you eat them. But they could kill you depending on how much you eat. If you do it in excessive amounts, it could kill you. Like, think about it. You're not going to be smoking 10 packs in one day of cigarettes, are you? You're not going to down 20 bottles of fucking alcohol in one day. You'd be dead. But what you're doing is you're slowly poisoning yourself. Yes, it's a slow poison. You're not using it to try to kill yourself by over-consuming it so that the oxalates kill you. But some people have died eating these things. The oxalates have killed them. Look at me, uh, 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 I'm melting, uh, uh, I'm melting, wait, wait, uh. what's that? Look at more things, man, freaking poison, man, look at me, man, I look like 110 years old now, man, freaking die. You're 59 years old, you're 59 years old, um, I've seen what you look like, I'm, I'm practically 57, I'm only behind you maybe by, by what, two years? And so look at me and look at you. I could do a comparison of my body and your body. See what I mean? You're accelerated aging. I don't eat that many fruits and vegetables. I did do them the past the last year or so three during COVID because I was bored. There was nothing to do. So I did an experiment and I found out it poisoned me and it kind of aged me. But because I'm back on my carnivore diet, all these things are reversing what I did to it because that's kind of short term. But if you keep doing them long term, they definitely will destroy you and age you. So yeah, I'm mostly a carnivore type of person. I'm, I was always a dairy and carnivore person. I fucking hate fruits. I never liked fruits and vegetables. I was one person that would never eat fruits and vegetables. I was so lazy to do that. Yeah. But I found out over time, when I moved back to Toronto from Mexico, because I was there for 10 years, I mostly was on a carnivore diet there. But when I moved back, back to my hometown, I started kind of eating these vegetables and fruits, which, which was weird because I thought, okay, I'm older. I need to eat this stuff because it's healthy. But what I discovered through science was that it was unhealthy to eat that. 
and my experience taught me it's unhealthy, okay? Because it made me unhealthy. So it has nothing to do with science. It has to do with my experiences. Little by little, man. What's going on YouTube? What's happening? Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Here to freaking help freaking uh, Genetic Beast out. He helped me out. It's time for me to freaking return the favor and help him out too, you know. Genetic Beast shared one of my videos. Yo, I got more interaction, man. So first and foremost, thank you very much, Genetic Beast. You recommended that I make more videos about Jason Blaha. I find you more interesting, man. And I'm going to show you why, because you did this video regarding Cali Muscle, right? The video is called Cali Muscle Fructose Apples Destroys My... I did. I did that video about Cali Muscle. Yeah, the apples. Mitochondria, <laughs> DNA, and apoptosis skeletal muscle cells. Damn! Yeah. Freaking fruit, fruit can do that to you, man. You just eat fruit, man, and you're on your way out, bro. You're on your way like, hey. And so we're going to go over the stuff that genetic beast coughs up. It can do that. It, I, like I said, poisoning yourself slowly doesn't, doesn't kill you right away. But it, it, it kills you over time. It shortens your lifespan over time, and it ages you. That's what it does. It's, it's a slow, decrepit deterioration. You're deteriorating rapidly. See, look, you're getting older, right? And you're, the aging seems to be slowing down, but the deterioration is accelerating. But what is accelerating the... If aging, if aging stopped at 25, what is causing the deterioration to go faster than the aging? Look, you stop aging at 25, so you're aging exponentially very 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 slow but you're deteriorating faster than you're aging you understand that do you do you understand that yeah so what is causing the deterioration ra rapid deterioration but not aging i'll tell you what that is it's it's the artificial lifestyle that you're living and eating the lifestyle that you're living and you're eating is causing a rapid deterioration. Do you understand me? That's what's happening there. You may not. You may deny it. You can deny it all you want. You can complain about it, make up a bunch of stuff and say, well, look, man, I'm eating poison, but I didn't die. Yeah, but people are smoking cigarettes a pack a day or whatever. They didn't die. But if they were to smoke 10 or 20 packs, you think they'd be, you think they'd be alive? What would happen if they smoked 20 packs in one shot? <laughs> you understand what I'm trying to explain to you? It's still poison. Now, if I eat, tw let's say I eat 20, 30 steaks, will I die from eating 20, 30 steaks? No. But if I eat a shitload of whatever, I don't know, if I drink a shitload of alcohol or take drugs or these plant drugs or drugs or whatever, because all plants are drugs and all drugs are made from plants, if I eat them in excessive amounts, will I die? Yes, I will die. But if I eat meat in an excessive amount, will I die? No. I won't. Why? Slightly nutrient. Has no toxins or poisons in it. There you go. And my job here is that I want to... I'd probably die from gas, maybe. <laughs> or, for, or because my belly busted because I ate so much of it. But other than that, no. Uh, you're not going to die from eating 10 steaks. But I, I'm pretty sure that if you eat like some of these heavily, heavily dosed oxalate foods in high dosages, you're going to die. Because it's a known fact in science. You'll die. People have died. People have died everywhere doing that, okay? Try to help genetic beasts along with all you other scientific buffs to become a true scientist. And now you want to bear with me because true science... Again, it has nothing to do with science. It has to do with experience. I told you on my channel, people used to complain. They said, can you prove what you say according to your experience? And I did. I went out to find the answers. First I get experience, then I go to find the answers. I brought the answers and I proved what I said. So there isn't anything that I made up. I didn't fabricate stuff or make up a bunch of stuff. Or these scientific reports are, they're fake, they've been altered or they're fake. They're not fake and they're not altered.
appliances you get to see what that implies as you stick with me through the video because maybe right now you're like what the hell two sons come on man but wait 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 you want to follow me you want to give me a chance you want to say wait what does this guy have to say and how is he going to make me a true scientist and i'm going to show you exactly how so I'm not trying to make you a true scientist. I think you should go on your own experiences and find out for yourself. Eat a whole, if they're so healthy for you, these fruits, then eat shitloads of them. If they make you so healthy, eat shitloads of them every day. Blend them like crazy and these fruits and vegetables. Eat them like nonsensically like crazy and find out for yourself what they do, whether they make you healthy or sick. Come on, let's get to it. So, when you eat a lot of foods that are high in fructose... Fructose induces mitochondrial dysfunction. Your Coca-Colas, your processed fructose, and your fruits, eating heavy amounts of fruits. And processed foods that have fructose in them, like your corn syrup and everything that they keep using. So, yeah, you want to destroy... It does. It says exactly there. Fruit fructose induces mitochondrial dysfunction. It does. Because your mitochondria function on animal fat. It's a known fact. I know this from experience. And it triggers apoptosis in skeletal muscle cells. So you lose skeletal muscle cells. Fructose does that. Causes an apoptosis in there. By uh, provoking oxidative stress. That's what it does. It also, it also diminishes your satellite cells. And it does a bunch of other bad things too. It destroys your DNA and a whole bunch of things. I'm not going to go all into it right now. Your body, uh, this is the best way to destroy your body and the rest of these crazy people doing these fruit diets. This is, this is the best way to destroy your body. If you choose to destroy it, eat high amounts of fruits and vegetables, especially blending them. Like he's going to mention in the video, he's going to talk about Jack LaLanne and his juicing machine. But Jack LaLanne started doing that way in the future. When he was old, he started selling a juicer machine and juicing. That's not what made him long lived. You think he juiced all the way through the 20s, 30s, and 40s, and 50s, and 60s with a juicer? No, he wasn't juicing. He ate meat. He ate what people were eating back then. They mostly ate carnivore diets. They ate healthy diets. We became more unhealthy around 19, I think, 1990. Yeah, we became extremely unhealthy after 1990. Extremely. So, yeah, that's the difference. You understand? Okay, so let me just iron out the differences. Like guys, they go, oh, there's these guys, they're, but they're running marathons, they're 100 years old. Yeah, those so-called 90-year-old people that are running marathons, they're starting to run them now. The people that used to run, they're all dead. They all died. It's the people that are running now, they're not at 90, starting to run. They weren't running all the time. Here between the sugar that you're talking about coming from processed foods and the sugar that I'm talking about that's coming from fruits. Because when I eat processed foods and processed... No, 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 no. The process, it, this is engineered food. It's engineered so it's higher in fructose. There's a, that's, what you, that's what you're missing. You're missing that these fruits are engineered by man. And so they're much higher in fructose. The content is much higher. Now, the processed food as well has got fructose in it. And that too will damage you because people are doing that. It's a known fact. And you know this, so don't deny it. You're trying to deny it in your head. You're like, no, you're in denial. That is the problem with people like you. You are, <laughs> my friend, you are in denial. You can deny it all you want, but it is fructose. These engineered fruits and vegetables, and they will destroy you. Test stock, cake and candies and all that stuff, man. The next morning, man, my mouth is dry and I feel a film of stuff. When I eat fruit, it doesn't happen, bro. And now the problem... Yeah, you're not eating fruit in excessive amounts. I'm not saying you can't get away with poisoning yourself a little bit here and there. But you are aged. Look at yourself. You are aged. Your hair is gone. I mean, your hair is completely gone and you're pretty much diminished at this point because you're deteriorating. And now that you're exercising and poisoning yourself, you're accelerating that deterioration and accelerated and accelerated aging. They call that accelerated aging, but it's through deterioration. Do you understand? with genetic bees is that when I brought some very interesting points that I am from the tropical islands man so I grew up on fruits I grew up yeah I was there I lived in I lived in tropical places for quite a long time visiting living there doing a bunch of stuff 
<laughs> Not a lot of these people eat a lot of fruits, fruits or vegetables. They ate a lot of meat everywhere where I was. But the problem was now with North American food, they have a tendency to drink a lot of Coca-Colas and whatever, these pops and things. What about fish? Freaking coconuts and the freaking works with fruits, man. And ah, but you're eating fish though, see? It says their energy on fruits and fish. Ah, but you're eating fish. You are eating animal products. So you're not just eating fruit, are you, At the in the islands? Uh, try eating just fruit and vegetables and find out what's going to happen to you in large amounts. So a scientist that comes across something like that will go, whoa, I didn't think about the tropical islands, man. No, a scientist is simply making a study. He gets a bunch of people and he wants to find out the outcome of something. They want to know the outcome of what will happen if I do this or I do that. That's what I do. That's what I was doing on my old channel. I experienced the outcome of if I just damage my muscle periodically, but or if I go to the buffet and eat for a couple of six hours, will the myofibular get bigger? Yeah. Will I get these a donation of these nuclei? Yeah. What happens if I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables? Are they healthy for me? Will they destroy me? Uh, oh, they destroyed me. Oh, you see, these are the outcomes. You have to actually actually do these things to find out what that outcome would be. Like if I do calisthenics, will it cause more damage to the muscle fibers and I can get more of these progenitor cells if I do that as opposed to doing this? Or if I do this, if I do that, I do that, I do this? Like why can't I lift heavier if I do just eccentrics? And if I do more eccentrics, why can't I lift heavier why can I lift heavier if I do eccentrics as opposed to concentric? See what I mean? Why is that? So you need to find out for yourself. That's what you do on well, your own experiences. So we need to make an adjustment here, right? But he's not doing that. He didn't answer. To I did. It's like, look, it's like negative. If you just do negatives in exercise, just do the negatives in the exercises. Why does your strength increase 150%? Why is that? Is it based on chemical strength? I don't know. You didn't get any bigger doing these negatives, but all of a sudden you could move heavier stuff. Why is that? Well, got more antigen receptors, somewhere for the progenitors to bind. I can't really tell you. I don't know for sure. See, I have got the answers for everything, but I do experiment with things. All the things that I had to say, some really nice things, even I wrote, it seems that there are people that are meat-based. They come from a meat-eating background and therefore they could eat meats, man. And so he didn't answer that. Then someone else came in and chimed in and said, I'm from Hawaii. We are hyper carnivores. We've been carnivores for centuries, but the last 2,000 years, people in North America, or sorry, from Europe, we, last 2,000 years, we, we got, how should I put it, we adapted to eating these foods, but that doesn't mean it still doesn't fuck us up. Now, what happens when a native person, because only the last 100 years, they were pure meat-based. When they start eating a North American diet, our European diet, why are they getting so sick? Why are they aged much faster, sick, and dying younger? See what I mean? Because they haven't adapted like we have over 2,000 years of farming, eating these toxic poison plants. That's the only difference. Your body's really just tolerating it. You understand me? You're really poisoning your body. So yeah, he says, I'm from Hawaii and I'm eating fish. You are? Okay, so you're eating fish. Purple, potatoes, coconuts, pineapples, but you're eating fish still. Why are you eating fish? And I look jacked and ripped at 2.30 like I'm on steroids. I think fruit straight from the source when you pick it right from the tree. That doesn't mean, that doesn't mean anything. This, man. I eat fish, purple potatoes, coconuts, apple, bananas, mangoes, and I look jacked and ripped at 2.30 like I'm on steroids. Eh? Come on, man. If you are... Looking jacked, having uh, artificial muscle growth from, from sarcoplasmic hypertrophy is, doesn't mean anything. It's not based on myofibular growth. So just because he ate fish, that doesn't bypass myo, myonuclear domain size limit. It can't bypass that myofibular growth stage. It, you can't make the myofibular bigger than what it can get. A muscle cell can only get so big. It can't get any bigger. You can't, you, you're, it's not, it does not, food is not going to force it. True scientists, you will pause for a minute and go, whoa, 
at least take it in. It's not proven yet. I don't know this guy. I haven't seen them. And so all that is taken into account. But for me to just hold on to that fruit is no good. I did. I ate fruits. I ate some vegetables. They really diminished me. You can see me in my jumping video. I didn't. I don't look so great there in Mexico. I didn't look great during COVID. I didn't look that great. It actually flattened me out. Maybe gave me. An, I definitely gave me an apoptosis, and it made my my mitochondria dysfunctional. I couldn't run properly. Like just everything was just sluggish, bad. It was just. It was terrible. So that's my experience with it in high dosages. Okay, in high doses, I didn't go that high enough to poison myself to kill myself. Just enough to see what it would do to me, and it didn't make me healthier. It made me worse. Now, I eat shit loads of protein animal protein and i mean a lot a lot and i eat a lot of it raw and guess what i'm getting better all the time i don't see a dentist i i don't even see a dentist i don't need a dentist i don't need a doctor i don't need anything anymore and i'm just getting better and better and better all the time but when i ate these fruits and vegetables they made me worse and worse and worse because sugar and fructose and oxalates and lectins and polyphenols and all these toxins that these plants carry 1000 poisons and toxins that they carry as a defense mechanism destroys you and that's what it did it destroyed me okay and support it seems like it seems like freaking religion man it seems like we've replaced according to the bible with according to science because only though the bible is fake it's not cannot be found in nature you understand me it cannot be found in nature as far as a scientific report a scientific report is based on experience real life experiences real life people they took these people and they put them in a room and they did experiments on them you understand me they did experiments on rats mice people women men children yeah real experiments that can be verified unlike the bible it cannot be verified because it's a book somebody wrote a story somewhere out there it cannot be found in nature it has to be found out in nature. That's why scientific reports are based on nature. It can, it can only be, it can't be based on something artificial. Unless they did a report on something artificial and you taking it uh, on a natural person. You understand me? It has to be done on a natural person. Hardcore Christians won't want to hear anything else. And whatever you say, they go, hey, look at man. Look at Genesis 3, 4, 5, man. Again, the Bible's fake. It's fabricated by man. There's no proof of any of these things. There's no proof of it. A true scientist will go, they'll ponder because someone bought something interesting. Scientists don't ponder. They measure things. They measure things in reality, in the real world. They don't sit there and ponder things, okay? They don't fabricate stuff. No scientist would come to a fair and make up a, a bunch of weird numbers without measuring. No scientist would believe them. ...to the table. And so when you see someone that brings something to the table that's different than what you've been claiming, you want to pause. You want to take a look at it and you want to say, you know what? This freaking 70 year old. Just clarify. Yes, yes. How old are you? I'm 70 years old. I love this. He's going to compare this so called 70 year old guy on steroids. Does he look like you? <laughs> Mr. Chains, Mr. Chains, does he look like you? Mr. Off the Chains Fitness, does he look like you? See what I mean? You're exercising like him. You say he's 70 and you're what, 69? Or no, sorry, you're 59? I believe you're, you're 59 years old and you say he's 70. How many 70-year-olds do you know on steroids? How many 70-year-olds do you know that look like that without steroids? See what I'm trying to explain to you, man? <sighs> Jesus. 70 years Seven old. Zero. Seven zero. Look at how freaking in shape he is. Okay, so why aren't you like that? Why don't you look like that? You're eating the same food, doing the exercises like him. How come you don't look like that? Wanna know why? Because he's doing something artificial. It's fake. Freaking having great sex. I have no problem in the sexual department. Uh, all right. No problem. Why would he? He's taking steroids. Why would he have any problems if he's taking something artificial to create that? You understand me? Yeah. And he eats a lot of fruits. <coughs> fruits. Banana, 
Strawberry. Yeah, but he doesn't eat it in excessive amounts. He eats them, okay. But do you think he's not eating animals? He's eating animals. Berry, whatever fruits you have. Now we're he's not just eating fruits and vegetables. He's eating animals, and he's on steroids. Would you shy away from this? Would you go? Oh hell no! Yeah, I'm gonna take your the, the optosis. I take one look at you, and there's just no comparison. You and that guy. Unless you're going to take steroids, you want to look like him? You want to look like him? Take steroids. And then you can make up a bunch of stories about eating strawberries and bananas too, okay? <laughs> Would you do that or would you go, whoa? The relationship between circulating cortisol and testosterone influenced by physical exercise. Well, exercise lowers testosterone. Want to know why? Because human research shows that administration of cortisol into the circulation at rest will result in reduced blood testosterone levels. It does. Exercise increases cortisol thus crashing your testosterone it's a known fact it's a test they did tests blood tests some people that's how they found out yes many researchers have used this results to imply that physical exercise why do you think everybody out there in the world is complaining about low testosterone they're all working physical jobs they're very stressed all the time, trying to pay their rent, trying to pay their mortgage, their bills, trying to make it. So stress increases cortisol. So people are complaining, well, we have low testosterone and da 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 now, then you know it wasn't like that in the past. Well, because in the past you weren't so you weren't so stressed, but people are more stressed now than ever. They're going to these things called gyms. Gyms were new. After the 70s, 80s, 80s, they became the big thing, the Vic Tannies and all that, the gyms. So people started going to the gyms, increasing cortisol, more cortisol. They're stressed all the time. They're, they're, going, to their, they're going to their shitty slave jobs, and then they're eating their slave food, which is causing more stress, more cortisol to raise, thus crashing your testosterone so this is based on experience it's a known fact bro yeah and then they all want to go on replacement trt therapy Eyes induced cortisol increases which perhaps results in subsequent reductions in circulating what testosterone level now why are your testosterone levels low because you're exercising all right man you heard that clearly man freaking you can't exercise anymore because it lowers testosterone man i didn't say that i said that is the outcome I didn't say, oh, you have to stop exercising because it, uh, it lowers testosterone. If you want to keep going to the gym and doing exercise, go ahead, lower your testosterone. See what I mean? I know that you're, you're living an unhealthy artificial life. So in your mind, you think the artificial world is real. You can't, you can't visually understand natural, be natural from artificial. You're doing things that are artificial. Exercise doesn't exist in nature. You would never exercise in nature. So, man, a guy like me that exercises, that feels great, whose sex drive is through the roof, man. You're, you're doing that because in your mind, you, you're, you're, I don't know what to, what, how to explain this to you. In your mind, you feel you're inadequate and you're aging. And so you want to exercise in your mind. You're thinking exercise is going to, ex, is going to make you younger. But in fact, it's accelerating aging. The deterioration is accelerating. You just don't understand the concept of that. And it was a lot of energy. It's showing in your body and your physical. That's why I did that, that video of you comparing you with, with Blaha because he too is accelerated aging. He's deteriorating and you are deteriorating a lot faster than he is because at least he's on TRT. So he's kind of, it's kind of holding and maintaining them right there a bit, you know, the deterioration part. But uh, it's, it's deep down cellularly there. It's artificially. He's, how should I put it? He's artificially pretending that it's not deteriorating with the TRT. But in fact, it's still there. So it's the look when you're looking at it, it's artificial. Yeah, it just looks artificial. But the truth is, he's still deteriorating. But you, we can see it on you because you're not using anything to cover it up, any cosmetics. You're not using cosmetics to co cover up the deterioration in your body. But I can see it in your body, your head, your face, your hair, your neck. I can see it. It's, it's there. Who's clear. Guess what, man? I'm going to have to quit exercising, man. Why? You freaking genetic beast. You didn't hear him? I never, said you have to, I never said you have to stop exercising, but if you want to keep accelerating aging, keep exercising, okay. He said freaking exercise is low as testosterone. What are you stupid, man? Science says so. So imagine that. Imagine that that article is going to influence someone that has been experiencing something. 
Yeah, I can understand. If you're not doing anything and you're retired, then yeah, definitely you should be doing something. I mean, you shouldn't just be sitting down all day or laying in your bed in a gravitational unloading. Of course not. I'm different, man. And I'm supposed to go ahead and follow that, bro? You think I'm going to stop exercising, man? Can you imagine what it takes for someone to follow this? You're not exercising from the get-go. You're looking for an excuse to not exercise. And so this here supports you to continue to freaking hang around and not exercise. Why? Because it's going to lower your testosterone, bro. Now, you talk about... No, 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 no. You just showed a guy eating an artificial diet, sitting on a sofa, eating artificial food and watching an artificial TV. So <laughs> what did you expect? In nature, there's no TVs. There's no popcorn. There's none of this artificial food. And so you wouldn't be doing that and you wouldn't be fat. So you're talking about people that are doing things that are artificial. Again, you are reflecting on artificial lifestyle. I guess you're so artificial, you can't distinguish between nature and artificial. About something that sounds crazy, man. There it is. <laughs> Cortisol is catabolic. <laughs> it's a catabolic hormone. So now your testosterone is competing with the catabolic hormone with the androgen, myositic androgen receptor. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. So why are you not working out anymore, Albert? Yeah, that's that's what it is. It's it's competing with the myositic. It's competing with the myositic androgen receptor, the catabolic hormone. It's competing. How do you shut off the catabolic hormone? Well, I could tell you one way. If you want to just try, drop a lot of the stress, just eat in an anabolic growth state, and you'll be able to suppress this catabolic hormone or the cortisol too, possibly. Actually, no. Cortisol will go up, but it can suppress it if you're anabolic, okay? So if you're in an anabolic growth state, I'm talking about food. I'm not talking about taking steroids, artificial fucking hormones that are toxic. Sorry, I got cut off there. I had to keep going now with this. Hey, 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 so why are you not working out anymore, Albert? Yo, man, freaking cortisol, man. You heard about cortisol? If you never want to have sex again in your life, man, go ahead and do that stupid thing like running in a park, hopping, skipping, jumping. Yo, man, you got... Yeah, these people become dysfunctional because of their what they're eating. That's what's making them dysfunctional. 700 muscles perhaps, bro, but you should freaking sit and never exercise. Why? <laughs> you know, it lowers... Think about it. If you lived in nature, what would you be doing? Enjoying nature. You'd probably be swimming in a stream, in a river, lake, whatever. Walking, going hiking, moving, hunting. Yeah, you'd be doing natural things. But the things that you're doing are all unnatural because you live in an unnatural world. Testosterone. And why? Because it raises cortisol, bro. Oh my god. Get back to eating, uh, you know, some lentils and spinach. No, don't eat spinach. It's high in oxalates and lentils are high in oxalates. Don't eat these poisons. Stop poisoning yourself, Cali. Eat a natural diet. What is natural to you? What is natural? Animal meat is natural. It's not processed, bro. It's not been engineered. But guess what? These lentils and this spinach and everything, it's engineered by man. You believe that if someone eats spinach, if someone eats lentils, and if someone eats fruits, that... I don't believe. I know for a fact that it does that, okay? Based on experience and on other people's experiences, is in out it there even on youtube they'll explain it to you go watch them and in science as well on based on experiences because that's what science is they're poisoning themselves now as a true scientist is that so is that actually so yes it's so and they talked about it go see dr shafi they even talked about uh wilhelm Neeson Wilhelm whatever his name is that actor guy whatever the brother he got oxalate he got he got uh, he was doing that he got the oxalate thing he got the stones he quit that vegan shit right away with the tropical islands with Hawaii with Asia that's why they're all suffering from they're all all these Asia this that and everything that's why they're all suffering from health health problems right they're so healthy that's why they have the the ar is filled with these people doctors have jobs all these doctors are all employed and the er is employed the dentist is definitely employed right they're so healthy that's why they're losing their teeth you want to know an indicator of your health if you have to go see any fucking doctor and i mean any goddamn fucking dentist that means you are unhealthy. I don't care if it's even for one tooth. If it's even for one tooth, 
you are unhealthy. That's why when they, in the slave trade, the first thing that the slave masters would do is they would check these slaves, they would check their teeth to see if they were healthy. And if they had bad teeth, they were unhealthy, they didn't want them. You understand, bro? You understand that, dude? They knew, too, they knew that having bad teeth, that these slaves would be unhealthy. These people are unhealthy. So, the majority of people in the world right now, a good majority of them, not all, but a good majority of them, are all seeing dentists. Therefore, they're unhealthy. And why? what does that equate to? Is because they're eating an unhealthy diet is causing that. But when you're on a carnivore diet, why don't you go see a dentist? Can you explain? Can you explain that? Why people that are on carnivore diets, why don't they go see a dentist? How come they never need to how come they never need to see a dentist? How come they're not sick? They don't need to go see a doctor anymore or go to the ER or anything. Why is that? But people that are eating all these plant foods are so healthy for you, like you say, and everything. What the fuck are they in the ER and the doctor's office complaining of skin diseases, metabolic diseases, neurological diseases, fucking autoimmune diseases, you name it, bro. <laughs> why are they complaining? Why are they going to have their teeth drilled and, and fucking pulled out and this and that? If it's so healthy, these fruits, engineer fruits and vegetables, huh? Why? The Japanese, man, I freaking brought that to your attention. You didn't answer that either. The freaking Japanese, they eat freaking sushi and a whole bunch of freaking vegetables. They eat a lot of sushi. There you go. That's what's, that's what's maintaining their health. But they're still unhealthy and they're, sh they're not going to live forever. And they're they're not they're not living that long. It's a seaweed, bro. They're freaking out living us, man. But you don't want to bring that to the table, or and maybe they have reduced stress there. I don't know why what they're doing. Maybe the stress is reduced. We have too much stress here. Please go wow, because a true scientist will go whoa. Yeah, a true science would go, whoa, why are everybody going to see dentists and having their, treat, their teeth drilled in and po poked out and getting all these weird things in their teeth, huh? Uh, how come they're all in the ER and all going to the doctor's office? But how come people on carnivore diets are not in the ER, not in the doctor's office, and they're not in the dental office? Why is that? When they, do these, when they go to these countries, when they found out that people were on butter and dairy products like butter and meat products, they were, their teeth were intact. They weren't falling out. They go to Africa and they show these people with healthy teeth. Ah, healthy jaws. What are they eating? Carnivore diets. Get it? Why are Native Americans getting sick eating our diet? Because they were used to eating a carnivore diet. They were super healthy and long lived. They never were sick. Do you think they had ERs and doctor's offices and fucking dental offices here in North America, the natives? No, they never had any of that. They didn't need it. Want to know why? Because they were healthy, not eating the these fruits and vegetables that were destroying their bones, muscles, skin, and teeth. You understand me? And their health and deteriorating them. There you go. There's my proof. And consider the freaking Japanese, man. Okay, how long are they living? What are they eating? What is their primary diet? They eat a lot of rice. Okay, but da da. What else? What's in rice? It's arsenic, isn't there? Is there not arsenic in rice? Are you denying that? me add to the table okay so what's going on here okay so now you talked about engineered food okay that's a really good freaking topic man because there is freaking food that's engineered that's no good but we have to iron oh so you admit that there's engineered food that is no good so these fruits and vegetables are engineered they're no good for you right and now it's not freaking mentions are engineered vegetables and why aren't they good for you? Because you're going down to see the dentist, the ER, and the doctor's office because you're all sick. Suppose I engineered, you can't freaking narrow it down to that because some of them are. The marketplace is, but we have to check that out because there's a... Look, ever since... Look, I've never had a health issue in my entire life until I started eating fruits and vegetables. I realized they were the culprit of all my problems. When I completely dump them now, completely, because I didn't know in the past and I had to do research on it and my experiences, when I dump them, my health returned. I'm never going to see a dentist the rest of my life. I'm not going to see a doctor and I'm not going to the ER. You understand me? Yeah. And why do heavy weights make you weak when I say that in my videos? If you lift heavy, it makes you, it weakens you. It does weaken you because according to your diet, it'll weaken you moving heavy stuff around. Yeah, because it deteriorates you. Labels that can tell us what is and what's not, I hope, because I know labels lie too. I know, I know the deal, but you got to also speak broadly, man. You have to say, wait a minute, how many countries are in Thailand? You know what? There's freaking... Look, why do I look so good at my age 
at practically 57 because I'm not partaking in that stuff no more in fruits and vegetables. And when I was younger, I didn't want to eat them. I never liked them. I barely ever ate an orange. There's no time to eat fruits and vegetables. You understand me? I was a meat eater and a dairy product eater. But I did eat some, I did eat grains though. I did eat cereals, which I regret now because that was a f easy food to eat. You know, it's something you, you know, your parents fed you these slave diets. My, my mom tried to feed me cow t cow's tongue at one point, but it was already too late. I was too old. And every time she tried to feed me, I was vomiting. I didn't like cow's tongue. I couldn't handle it. I probably could have if she fed it to me when I was younger as a child. But not, not once you're already an older kid. 71 providences in Thailand. It goes deep, man, when you go into the country and you're able to freaking grow bananas. And so... Yeah, you're addicted to sweet stuff. It's a drug. Plants are drugs and all drugs are made from plants. These are drugs. They're energy foods. So it's a drug. When you grow bananas, it's very different than someone who manufactures them. And so as a scientist, I have to look into that. I just can't say, well, the article said it is, bro. And I'm going to end it there, man, because everything they say is right. It's freaking back to religion, man. You have to try to steer away from being a freaking science. And Again, religion is fake. It doesn't exist in nature. And just believing articles. And it's not based on facts. The, the scientific stuff is ba based on facts. It's natural. Not finding out for yourself, man. You wouldn't eat that as a hunter. Okay, now seriously, man. Who is watching this video that hunted last weekend? Seriously. Nobody, because you're all unnatural, living in a natural lifestyle. That's why you're not out there hunting, watching this video. Man. Animal, animal meat is natural. It's not processed, bro. Anim That's right. Animal meat is not processed. It's natural. It, what, you make it unnatural when you do something to you to it. You could make it processed, which is unnatural. Who's man? That's freaking nature, man. A freaking banana that grew on a tree from the sun and water and soil. Oh, no, that's not natural, man. No way, bro. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying the process itself is not natural. It <laughs> growing in the sun out in, in out in nature. I'm saying they engineered these 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 fruits and bananas and stuff. If you see the original bananas that were out in nature, you wouldn't eat them. They're filled with seeds and stuff. So go eat, a, go eat a natural banana that you would find out in nature if you were running through a forest and you found them growing there. See, these grow, these grow on farms. They grow on collectives. They don't grow in nature. If you go in nature and find a banana that's growing in nature in the forest, it's not going to be like these bananas growing on farms. You understand me? They're engineered. <laughs> yes, you're on the road to hell to destroy yourself. The road of destruction. All right, man. So Genetic Beast no. already has it fixed. Cali, that if you even Cali Muscle, he like, uh, man. Here's Cali Muscle. This is what Cali Muscle ate. Burger King and all this weird unnatural processed food. See that? Then he told you that meat was bad for you. He tried, to, he tried to convince you that meat is bad for you. Why would he say meat is bad for you if he ate all this processed weird food? Look at all this crap he ate, bread, and all this weird shit. That's what destroyed his health. Look at that. All this stuff destroyed him. See that? Yeah. So when you're talking about Cali Muscle, he's like, well, I'm doing fruits because meat is bad for you. It's not the meat that, that caused him the problem. It's the, uh, the processed and ultra-processed food that destroyed him. Fruits, lentils, spinach, you're on the road to... So in his mind, he thinks, well, I have to eat fruits and vegetables. Maybe they'll be healthy. He's experimenting. Everybody has to learn on their own. But he knows now it's, it's fucking him. It's deteriorating him. And as far as his muscles, he doesn't have any muscles. They're glycogen, okay? He took steroids. Destruction. And so just imagine genetic beast, the fruit markets worldwide in Asia, in Hawaii. Yeah, it's a business. That's how they make their money. They sell you these things. That doesn't mean you should eat it. Look, I could eat bark off a tree, okay, if I'm hungry, but that doesn't mean it's healthy for me to eat bark.
Hey, in Mexico, in Puerto Rico, in Argentina, in Brazil. Yeah, these engineered fruits and vegetables in Brazil and this and that. Yeah, we don't live in nature anymore, yes. And we're all freaking just destined to die because... I didn't say you were destined to die. I said that it causes an, it causes an apoptosis in your muscle cells. It deteriorates you. It causes dysfunctional mitochondria, especially when you get older. I'm not saying these things can... Your body can wear off a lot of things when it's still younger. It's functioning a lot better. But eventually with the time, it's not functioning so good. That's why I explained why when you're younger, when you break a bone, it takes six weeks to heal a bone. But as an adult, it takes seven to eight months to heal a bone. Why is that? So there you go. There's the differences. And as you get older, if you destroy something, it becomes fibrotic. It's not healing anymore. So think about that. If you're eating these poisonous foods, what's going on there as you get older? Faster deterioration. We eat fruit, man. You come on now. I want you to be a true scientist and say, wait a minute. Let's examine that. Not look for an answer that suits you. If you look for an answer that's... I didn't look for an answer that suit, suits me. I told you, again, in my videos, I went... People asked me to prove what I said according to my experiences, and I did with science. That's, so what, you, that's what science is for. You're not a scientist. A scientist will never look for a conclusive answer to suit him. He's not going to... Look for a conclusive answer? What are you talking about? He does experiments in the natural world. And then he looks for the, he wants to find out the outcome of that. That's all he does. Do something to get an edge on someone. He's you want to know why? Because he's a human being. He doesn't know anything like you. You're a human being. You don't know anything. And so am I. I'm a human being. I don't know anything. I have to go off my experiences. And so I look for other people's experiences to see if they match up with my experiences. Do you understand me? That's how I find the answers to be higher he's not gonna be lower okay so one thing to freaking add on is that these articles right here yes. the scientists yes these articles they're based on experience this is based on experiences of people's experiences in the real world yeah if there's true scientists they won't freaking hold strong to what they wrote because they're scientists they won't hold strong to the experiment that they paid to do? Why wouldn't they? That was the outcome that they got. That's the outcome. They, that writing that you're reading there is the outcome of the experimento. The experiment, that's the outcome. My outcome of my experiment, eating in the park the fruits and vegetables every day in my old videos, was it made me fucking sick and dysfunctional. You understand me, bro? I had all kinds of shit. Liver disease, fucking kidney, this, that. Metabolic diseases. Holy shit, off the board, man. My teeth were getting bad. The fuck? Everything was just terrible. My sleep, this, that, whatever. I was diminishing. Apoptosis. Yeah. You name it. And so they're not going to say, yeah, it's affirmed. They're scientists. Scientists in the open end of investigation. What do you mean it's affirmed? That was the outcome in that experiment. That's all. There's no ending. And so you've made a conclusion. They won't. I didn't make a conclusion. I made a conclusion based on my experience, what I was doing when I ate those fruits and vegetables, and then I went out to look for the answers. Now, I post those in my community section. People could use discretion if they want. They can read them or not read them. That's all. Now, if they had a problem with their selves and they couldn't figure out what was causing the problem, maybe they read the report and then they equated, oh, that was the problem, so I should cut that fucking shit out. So I don't fucking destroy myself. Yeah. Make a conclusion. A true scientist won't do that. All the claims from the, the yolk was bad. Yes, they will. A true scientist, a true scientist will make conclusion off of experiences. That's their job. And I was a freaking superfood. I grew up here in the avocados because of the fat content, man. Eggs could be superfood depending on the type of egg, the chicken, what they're eating. I don't know what they're eating. Those yellow yolks, dark yolks. It's, it's packed with nutrients, less nutrients. I don't know what these chickens are eating, okay? They're, living, they're eating artificial food too. Gotta be careful with that. It's no good, man. Also, avocados? I'm not, saying, I'm not saying you can't eat an avocado. That doesn't mean it's healthy for you. You could stick anything in your mouth, but does that mean it's healthy for you as a human being? Is that your natural diet? No. 
coconuts, man. They're freaking fattening, man. You don't want to eat coconuts because that's freaking bad from the heart. And so we have to take... Again, I never said coconuts are bad for you or good for you or anything like that. You'll find out with your experience what it does to you. All these things to account to exercise seeing anything new like this that you're presenting and say is that so i'm a scientist and i think like you we think the same and i come across a guy who eats fruits whose freaking sex drive is through the roof he has freaking muscle come here bro let's talk you got two hours you've seen a guy who eats fruits with muscles <laughs> he's eating he's eating meat you just said sushi meat and fish and whatever so he's not just eating fruits and vegetables with muscles and you can't tell today because people take drugs do artificial things creating this that to fake that muscle look okay to blow up their muscles fakely i'll treat you to coffee i'll treat you to lunch i want to hear what you look mark Plummer just put on 30 pounds of muscle that's what he says i put on 30 pounds of muscle in 30 days do you think he put on 30 pounds of myofibular growth in 30 days? Come on, man. You actually believe that? What about Larry Wheels? Larry Wheels, go, go see his channel. Larry Wheels put on 53 pounds eating at the Golden Griddle in, in five days. You think he gained 53 pounds of solid myofibular growth in five days eating at the Golden Griddle? Give me a break, man. Come on. You're a lot smarter than that. Myofibulars have a domain size limit. They can only get so big, okay? And it's really hard to get them to get bigger and bigger and bigger. But it's not hard to increase the sarcoplasmic hypertrophy in the sarcoplasm by eating fruits, vegetables, whatever, complex carbohydrates, whatever is loading in there, okay, in the form of glucose. I have to say, man, because we're over here on the other side of the fence against you. And here you are saying that you're against me. I'm trying to help. I'm just informing people. It's discretionary. You can figure it out on your own. You're intelligent. You eat fruit. What else? What kind of fruit? Where is it from? Where is it grown? I would inquire. Again, you're in denial. That is your problem. Yeah. And inquire and inquire. Where did all that so-called muscle go? Where did it go? He lost, I don't know how much he lost, more than 70, 70, 80, 90 pounds of muscle? Where did it all go? I thought steroids build muscles. Ha 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 ha. You don't even know it. Cat steroids don't build muscles, that's why. They don't bypass MND size limit. A molecule doesn't bypass it. What bypasses is the stem cell. So there you go. So that muscle he had, what did he lose? Sarcoplasmic. He's on your side for this one. He's on your side. Did you catch that? If you watch his other videos, he supports what you're saying. He says the steroids produces fake muscles. He doesn't want to carry all that extra bulk, which is why he's losing it. He wants to lose the muscle. He doesn't see it as good anymore. He sees muscle gain as a problem. And so he's... Yeah, he sees that sarcoplasmic hypertrophy gain, that holding all that glucose in your muscle is, is, is wrenching on your health. It's... it's it's horrendous. I can't even describe it. On your side, which is the myofibular side, which is the real muscle, he's not for sarcoplasmic muscle production anymore. So you missed that point. Yeah, okay. Yeah, these things, you're not supposed to eat these. They were used as medicinal purposes, but not for eating. Okay, genetic beast, you messed up again, bro. <laughs> I didn't mess up. I was talking about, man, I'm talking about particular things like uh, celery, um, I don't know, uh, parsley, um, watercress. What I discovered was they were used as medicinal for medicinal properties, for their properties, medicinal things. They weren't used to be eaten daily. Do you understand me? As food, they're not used. You, you wouldn't go and eat a, a leaf off a tree and go, wow, this tastes great. I'm going to eat these leaves because they're green. It's disgusting. They taste terrible. That's why people have to douse them with all kinds of seasoning to make them taste good because they taste like shit. What's that taste that you're tasting in these green plants? Well, you're tasting the toxins in it. That's what you're tasting. It's the poison. 
that for eating their for medicinal purposes this it's a freaking double-edged answer here the first thing is that cali muscle is on a path to heal that's number one so if he's i never said he wasn't on a path to try to heal him he's going through an event okay he suffered he suffered a life-threatening event and so now he's just going through some a phase and he'll learn like everybody else eating that for medicinal purposes that's what he's eating it for now on the other side i'll explain this what doesn't kill you makes you stronger no it doesn't what doesn't kill you makes you weaker oh yeah what doesn't kill you makes you weaker if you got into a car accident you broke all your bones in your body and everything that ain't going to make you stronger that's going to make you weaker if you destroy your joints or pull your muscles or fall apart they make you weaker oh i got oxalates i got these tendonitis yeah, it's making you weaker. It's not making you stronger. See, you understand that physically stronger? I think people are so confused out there what makes them stronger. Well, I'm eating these fruits and vegetables. They're making, my, uh, they're making my teeth stronger. Are they making them stronger? Where's all your teeth now? Oh, the, my dentist has got them down at the dental office. See that? Oh, uh, they, what, doesn't, what doesn't kill me makes me stronger. That's why I'm going to the, doc, the doctor. Everybody's going to the doctor's office for drugs, this, that. The drug industry is so high up, making money everywhere. That's why people are in their ER, because what didn't kill them made them stronger. That's why they're down at the ER, right? Down at the hospital, right? Emergency surgery and all that. Because it, did, it didn't kill them. It's making them stronger. Yes, sir, of course. Yes. In Asia, man, the freaking vegetables are everywhere. Like, we have to examine Asia. Are you willing to examine Asian people now? Would you willing to go, whoa? They freaking eat a whole bunch of vegetables. Look at their soups. For breakfast, they eat vegetables. Yeah, they eat a slave diet. Very, a very slave diet. That's why they're all unhealthy. And these Asian countries are unhealthy. In Africa and some other places, Middle East, they eat sand. They call it sand eating bread and stuff. They say, they made fun of them. These, <laughs> uh, what is it? The Mongolians and things. These people. They made fun of them because they were meat eaters. And they go, you eat sand. That's why you're so weak. That's why your armies are weak and, you know, armies get destroyed because weakness. They eat, they eat shit. They eat these plants. They're poisonous and weaken you. And fuck you up. They eat meat. They didn't want things to hinder them, to hinder their health, or their strength, or their body, or their teeth, or put them in the ER. Now, like I said, if you want to be weakened and be in the ER and see dentists, then continue in this behavior and you will be on that path of deterioration. That's why your teeth are deteriorating and you, sir, are deteriorating. Rice, little meat. Keep eating that slave diet. Now we have to do some more investigation. Are you willing to do it? When we take a look at the lifespan of Asian people, we take a look at their energy levels. We what about the lifespan of Asian people? They're dying young. They're dying young. They're dying. Now, there's very few people in some regions, they may be eating more meat than usual. They're living a little bit longer, but they die. They're not living that long. Take into the martial arts world that they're into. We take a look at Taiwan. We take a look. These martial artists are dying too because they're eating vegan diets, poisoning themselves. They're dying too. They're, they look good when they're young, but look at them when they're old. Deteri they deteriorated and they're old and then they die young. We look at China, we look at Japan, we look at... Th look, at look at all these, these, these plants you're showing. Plants are an apex organism on this planet. How do they protect themselves? By injecting themselves with toxins so that they can survive, so that the insects and animals and things don't eat them, so they disappear off the planet. They have to survive. Otherwise, all the insects would eat them. They'd be gone and dead. They wouldn't survive. That's why they protect themselves with these toxins. Yeah. Thailand, and we take a really good look. Are you willing to do that? Or will you still stand with, there's oxalates in there, bro? Yeah. And that's it. What do you mean? I, would I stand that there's oxalates? There's oxalates in there, and? Yeah, there's oxalates in there. Are you denying that there's oxalates in there? And end it there religiously with scripture. Which is, yes. No, I'm using real studies. There's oxalates in there, yes. We already know that. Scientific. We know there's toxins in plants because it's in my community section. I've posted it. I posted it on my old channel and I posted it on my new channel. There was even a guy, they put him to blend and stuff and they ended up with stones, okay? The old dude. Information that supports you? Or are you willing to go, wait, I read the literature. Now let me observe reality. Oh. 
can't freaking observe. See, your problem is you can't observe reality. Reality is nature. Uh, this is the artificial world, but you can't distinguish between the two. That is your problem. Reality, because reality will bring you the freaking truth. Maybe you don't want the truth. Because no, I think that you're, you're in denial of the truth. That is the problem. Maybe now you feel good. You don't have to exercise. And you can eat steak when you love. I didn't say exercise exercise means you're you're getting good at doing something but that doesn't equate to health it's what you're eating makes you healthy again i'm gonna explain this if you're going to the if you're going to the dentist the doctor the er and everything you are unhealthy and what is that from whatever you're eating now people on carnivore diets are not going to see the dentist the doctor and the er you understand me and we never had that in the past we didn't have that in the past when we were hyper carnivores, carnivores, eating our natural diet in nature. It's not until we got into this artificial lifestyle, more and more villages, cities, towns, and whatever, we started huddling in these places. We put ourselves in this position, and then we started farming more artificially, doing artificial things is where we ran into trouble. Do you understand me? Oh, man, it could be that. That could be the root of the freaking issue here, man. Because sometimes people will follow science and the claims they want to follow to support what they like. No, so again, science is the outcome of, of, of a test that they're doing to measure something. That's all it is. Hey, man. Belief is going to open up the actual tubules and it's going to open up the nephrons of the kidney. Yeah. It's going to open the kidneys, this, that. Whatever. It's not going to do anything. It's going to do destroy your kidneys, your liver, and everything else, and your chances of having. So now that he blended these apples, the, the, the fructose content and the oxalates are much higher now. Look at that. It's super high. So when you drink them, you really are poisoning yourself like heavily. Being a sex drive. <laughs> Boom, you made a conclusion, man. It's not going to do anything, man. It's going to spoil everything, man, including your sex drive. Man. Now we have to ask Cali. Let's be scientists together. In order to freaking get there, we he have... He says it's making himself sick. And maybe he's going to have to quit this, he said. I have to ask Cali how his sex drive is doing. <laughs> it's doing really bad. That's why he ordered breast milk, his, his wife's breast milk. <laughs> You have to be scientists now, so we're gonna say, look, during this phase, how's your sex drive? Then, as scientists, we have to come back to Cali when he juices up a little bit more with a variety of foods that are no good according to you, and then go, how's your sex drive now? You know, this is processed. Once you take a fruit and you put it into a machine, it's processed now. And so it's condensed. And so the fructose is super high. What I discovered when I was blending, when I blended it, it was super, super high. Yeah, because it's unnatural. It's now it's, it's been processed. See what I mean? Something engineered and then now it's processed is totally unnatural. <laughs> Why Cali's doing it? We need to question him. We have to go because he thinks the more he does of it is going to make him healthier. It's going to he look, he's in that phase where he got poisoned. It happened to me. I got poisoned. And so, uh, no, I mean, I was going through a health problem. All right. Because I have a neurological problem. And so I thought that it would take away my neurological problem. I thought, well, okay, I'll give it a shot. It's COVID. I, there's no gym. It's closed. I'll give it a shot. Maybe this would cure my problems. It made it worse, okay? That's what I discovered. So, Kelly Muscle had a heart attack. Now, he had a heart attack because he ate unnatural food. So, he thinks if he eats these things, they're natural, but in fact, they're engineered. So, he doesn't really understand what's going on because he doesn't really put much mental effort into it to figure it out. But again, on your experience, he will figure out that it was, it's bad for him because it's going to make him really bad. Really, really, really bad. He has to be aware, but there may be a deeper reason. He's not aware yet. He will find out when it poisons him completely, when it really diminishes him at that point. It'll come to a certain point of deterioration where he wakes up and smells the coffee. Because the Gerson Institute, I don't know if you know of the Gerson Institute that heals freaking people that are dying from cancer, they are on the freaking juice path. And so maybe they need a concentrated amount of juice now. They're not dying from cancer. Cancer is meant to keep you alive so you procreate, have kids, and die because your cells went senescent because they're lacking in nutrients. When they lack in nutrients, that's what happens. They go senescent 
and cancer starts to increase in somewhere in the body in that area where it can no longer replicate any more cells. So it replicates cancer cells to keep you living a little bit longer to procreate, to make a child and get ready to die. Now, if you want to reverse that cancer, it's really simple. Carnivore diet. Don't feed it anything like sugar to keep it to, to, to survive. It has no telomeres, cancer cells. They're not regulated by telomeres or anything like that. They keep replicating, to, again, to keep you alive a little bit longer to replicate, to make a baby and then die. But like I said, you can reverse this. You can reverse it before you die if you get it. But it would be best to prevent getting cancer by not eating these foods that will make your cells go senescent. And apoptosis means senescence. Fructose Cause your cells to go senescence through an apoptosis. That's what it does. Hello? Yeah. Cancer, cancer lives off what? Sugar. Does meat have sugar in it? No. Does it have toxins in it? No. So it must be healthy for you. Is it lacking in any nutrients? No. As scientists, bro, you have to go and check out, okay, Gerson, like, what's going on with that? Cancer patients, okay, they're drinking juice, they're doing enemas, okay, now what else can we bring to the table? Uh-huh. We have to examine Jacqueline Lay now. <laughs> you see where I'm at? You see what happens here when you're a true scientist? Carrie must have talked about Jacqueline Lane. Jacqueline Lane lived to 96 years old. Jack Lane, if you're freaking as old as I am. Again, Jack Lane, he lived to 96, but Jack Lane, <laughs> the juicer, was only the last couple years in his life that he was promoting the juicer because he was paid to do that. He was making money promoting the ju juicing. I don't know if he even drank that juice himself. In the end, maybe that's what shortened his lifestyle at the end. Maybe he would have lived longer to 100 if he didn't start juicing the last five years when he was selling it on TV. <laughs> I mean, always a specimen of fitness, and now... He was a specimen of fitness. I don't know, man. Look, he ate a carnivore diet. He ate a high carnivore diet. He, wasn't he with the one that talked about the eggs, 36 eggs? He was the one that talked about, I think, the 36 eggs that people took, the burn victims and all that. So he was pretty much on a very high meat diet or animal-based diet. Especially in those days, people l l ate less artificial foods. Like now, there's more ultra processed, processed foods now than there ever was back then. So that's why he lived so long, okay? And he was stress free. He lived a nice life. This guy invented a Jack Lane juicer, right? I had one, and so many people that still have them. And look, now we have a debate here. Now, as scientists, me and you, genetic beast, we're scientists now. We're actual scientists, but we're not following the claims of others. We're actually taking a... Did Jack Lane ever work? His, his labor work was what? Doing some exercises here and there, here and there, promoting, trying to sell you on exercise and a bunch of weird stuff. I don't know how much he exercised. I don't know what he did in his lifestyle. I don't know anything. Maybe that's all he ever did was a, some small exercises or something. An hour a day, 30 minutes, who knows what. Okay, and the rest of the time... He would live the stress-free lifestyle and he ate a natural diet. Look at this guy, his name is Jack Lane. He lives at 96 years old. Now I'm not gonna die because of the- uh, The juicer and juicing these so-called fruits and vegetables didn't make him live to 96 years old. Again, the juicer, he was promoting it the last couple years of his life, okay? Oh no, the fibula, oh no, 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 no. This guy consumed a whole bunch of fruits. I, again, I don't know if he consumed all that. Just because he was promoting a juicer doesn't mean he would drink it. Look, a lot of people promote these whey proteins and things on TV. And then they go, well, you have to, you, then they said, well, people weren't eating them. They were promoting them, pretending like they were eating them, but they weren't eating them. So they said, okay, you have to eat it. So they would take one spoonful of it and that was it. And then they would say, yeah, look, see the whey protein is really good for you. I've tried it. It's amazing, dot, dot, dot. But all they did was ever take one spoon of it for the commercial. That's it. To prove that they actually took it. But that doesn't mean it gave them any benefits. Do you understand me? I doubt Jack Lane was fucking downing all these fruits and vegetables. From the, from the juicer, bro, get it? He knew that meat was a lot more healthy for him. Then we can take a look at a whole bunch of people like me that when I juice constipation, like you, you said... Dad, that you're getting that constipation from juicing because that's what it does. It's, it's just, it's not good for your body. It's, you're not meant to eat all that stuff. You're a carnivore. Dad, when you turned away from fruits and now that you're a carnivore, 
You're freaking doing excellent. Freaking awesome. Look at my community section. There's a dairy a dairy farmer, a woman there. Look what happened to her when she she was doing the same thing, eating this stuff, whatever, and then she went pure carnivore and she said all her problems went away. She's a young chick and now she could even have a kid. So there you go. Awesome. There's absolutely nothing to say. I can't say nothing unless I want to be religious about it. Unless I want Again, it's based on pure people's experience. I can't tell you. I could tell you again. Over 2,000 years, we've been farming. So us Europeans, we have been, we've been the, in that in those communities, those people that have been farming for 2,000. If it's been over time, we tolerate it. Uh, we don't die so fast from it. We live a little bit longer than even a native person that would eat our crazy diet, fruit, vegetable diets, our artificial diets. And so we've we we have uh, we have adapted to that somewhat somewhat but we still die we still get diseases from it we still get a bunch of things from it just not as fast as somebody that wasn't adapted to it like native americans do you understand me yeah i'm gonna be a science inmate then i'll go oh no man your carnivore is killing people and say exactly what you're doing backwards because no they're they're doing that to promote their products they're gonna tell you something that's healthy for you has to be bad for you so you have to eat our fruits and vegetables but their whole premise is not based on health it's based on principles do you understand me <laughs> you understand they're like Oh, these animals, you're slaughtering them and you're killing them. This is this is genocide and all that. So it's based on it's based on that. It's not based on health. It's it's based on morals. Ah, uh, we have I'm eating because of I'm poisoning myself with these fruits and vegetables for moral purposes. And so it's driving them nuts and they're going crazy, these vegan people. They go mentally, they're mentally ill, sick, running around in the street, losing their teeth, their health, and everything. And they think that you should self suffer for their their moral beliefs listen to the word moral beliefs that this is this is this is this you should do that but it's not based on health they don't care about your health they don't care about you if you're suffering they want you to suffer with them because so are they for their crazy beliefs which is not based on facts okay so there you go there are people out there saying, if you're a carnivore, man, you're going to freaking have five pounds of undigested meat by the time you're 60. And so, of course, why wouldn't people say that if they're trying to promote something unhealthy? There's they they would lose out. They have to sell their shitty products to you. You have to dis dis disregard or you have to you have to put down these these things so you could put your product up. Number one. Look, Microsoft, I don't know, Apple, Microsoft, they're going to say, well, Microsoft sucks, buy Apple, yeah, or, or Apple sucks, buy Microsoft, whatever, whatever they're doing out there, don't buy this EV car, buy this EV car, because that one's made in China. Before they used to tell you, oh, everything made in China sucks, but we're finding, we're discovering that everything made in China is actually a lot better. <laughs> you understand me? That's what we've discovered. They were saying that because they wanted to promote their products. They knew that products were coming in from China, but now the Chinese market is so flooded that they just can't compete anymore. The Chinese products are a lot better than our products. Whatever. I remember at one time, I remember back, back to the Future, that movie, the guy goes, uh, Doc Brown says, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? He says, everything in Japan is, is shit. And he goes, what are you talking about, Doc? Everything in Japan is the best. You understand me? You understand that? Yeah, it's the competition, bro. That's all. Everything in Japan was is is the best, as far as I knew in the 80s. Yeah. You know, you have to take a look at what other people are saying about you and say, wait a minute, these guys are doing fine with meats. These guys are not. These guys are doing fine with fruits. Can't eat meat. These guys are fish. No, it's because those people never took the time out to experiment with all these different fruits. Do them together, do them separate and stuff like that to find out what they'll do to you separately, together, so forth and so on. You never took the time out to do that. Is that actually so? Sorry, I missed that. Me by the time you're 60, and so, you know, you have to take a look at what other people are saying about you and say, wait a minute, these... Important news. Sorry, I don't know how that happened there. I don't know what happened there. Hold on a second. Shit, I lost this goddamn video about you and say wait a minute these guys are doing fine with meats these guys are not these guys are doing fine with fruits 
can't eat meat. These guys are fish eaters, man. These guys were born here and they were born there. And so now we brought in, man. We freaking, we freaking open. No, they're not. That's, they're doing good with this. They're doing good with that. You know that if your teeth are falling out and you're going to the ER and the doctor, then your, your diet is an artificial bad diet for you. That's how you know. It's bad for you. If you're suffering from all these ailments, it's, the, it's 100%. It's the diet causing that. And no exercise or fitness is going to reverse those problems. None. Up the horizons with so many angles, man. Tastes like I'm already healed. Now it's time to see. What he's not healing, man. He's not. He he's not healed or healing. He's 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 wanting that badly, but it's not happening. Healing. Another conclusion, bro. He's not healing. He's not healing, man. Scientists will never say that. Scientists will see. He's alive. He looks vibrant. He's. I didn't say he was a, a walking corpse. He's dead. Talking, he's breathing. He's not healing. Okay, how can we? Back you know, that's funny. That's what John Meadows said when he had a heart attack, and the 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 a year later, J John Meadows died of a heart attack. <laughs> he had a heart attack, and then he had a second heart attack a year later, and he died. Was he healing too with exercise? Did exercise heal him? Verify that. How can we? Ex Did fitness and exercise heal him and prevent him from having a second heart attack? Absolutely not. It's the cause of his heart attack, the fitness and the exercise. I told you, has nothing to do with health. What, ha what has to do with health in your body is what you consume, what you put in it. The fuel that you put in your Ferrari will dictate how that Ferrari will operate. The fuel that goes in your body will dictate your health. That's what it dictates, not... Man, exercise or fitness or all that, that's not going to dictate it. Sorry. Expand on that. Or is that scripture from your scientific literature that keeps you freaking in prison, man? Okay, man, so this concludes this video. Nothing keeps me in prison. I'm a very pra pragmatic person. You have no idea. But you're going to find out. Yo, man, if you hung on and you seriously freaking dug deep, you're not freaking in defense anymore, man. You're not saying, oh, no, that's not true. You're not looking for any type of support whatsoever. You brought in yourself. So there's nothing to cling to. And so automatically you're going to be like. You never proved anything you said. You never explained how fitness, uh, uh, how does it make you healthy? How does fitness, this exercise make you healthy? In what way does it have? What, name me one health benefit of exercise. You never mentioned anything of that. You never mentioned how oxalates are healthy for you. You never mentioned fruits and vegetables are healthy for you. How do they make you healthy? N name me one health benefit of fruits and vegetables. I can name you a million health benefits of, of a natural animal diet. You want to know what it is? There is no deficiency in nutrients. It has no sugar and it has no toxins. Therefore, you won't lose your teeth. That's a health benefit. You won't go down to the ER and you won't need to do exercise, and you won't be down at the doctor's office looking for these uh, plant drugs. Plant drugs and drugs and more drugs from plants. You understand me? That's the health benefits right there. Just the carnivore diet alone. See that? But you never mention one health benefit of fruits and vegetables. You never mention any benefits of this so-called exercise, this whatever, exercise stuff, whatever, it has health benefits. What are the health benefits? Accelerated aging? Huh? Tell me. What are the health benefits? I know. Deterioration? What are the health benefits of it? Come on. The, it doesn't equate to longevity because there's a report in NCBI too. It explains to you there's no longevity in, 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 in exercise. There's nothing. So you never mention any of those things. You're going to be on guard for the new information that comes your way and that you're not going to want to support anything. You're not going to want to say, well, that's so. And so as a scientist, we go, this is where I'm at at this time. So far on a fruit diet, I'm able to, da, 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 I'm able to, I'm able to. Then on the fruit diet, you're able to da, da, da. Here's the question. Are you eating, are you eating animal products while eating fruits and vegetables? Are you eating? Go look at the compilation, the vegan compilation that I have in my community section. It's, it's probably way far down at the bottom. They have one 2021, 2022, probably have one 2023, 2019. 
the, every vegan there. I didn't think I would be making this video. My hair was falling out, my nails, my prostate was coming out, this, that, boom, yahoo. My balls were falling off. I lost my penis. I lost my pee pee. I can't have kids, blah. And all of a sudden, they all went carnivore and all their problems went away. I wonder why that is, huh? I wonder. I may have to change for that time. And so it's different instances, man, because we are a movement. We're not scientific literature that altered the, 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 we're not, we're not like that, man. We're human beings, man. We don't need to be, we're going off our experiences. I don't need science. I just use that as an explanatory thing to us to equate to people ask me to prove what I say. That's all. Because they just don't understand the terminologies of it. And this here is such an orchestration of a whole bunch of stuff, man. And where, you know, the autosis and the mitochondria and the hosodotis and, and all you're trying to do is make us... Well, you need to classify what these things are. So you have to label them. So then you understand which one are you tackling. You understand what these are. Hello. You have to know. You know what I mean? Not just be ignorant about it and go, hey, this is much going to do 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 da. Yeah, don't just put don't just put anything in your mouth and oh it must be healthy for me because some man engineered it on a farm. <laughs> don't sound smart because maybe you want validation because inside you have low self-esteem. What? I <laughs> try to sound smart. I'm the least smart person on the planet. Why do you think I'm bringing out the reports to prove what I say? Because people ask me to. I don't know anything. I'm a human being. I don't know shit. I was born with instincts. I was never born with knowledge and neither were you. <laughs> You're not worth as much as you like to be worth. And so sounding smart, it gives you a boost of an esteem. I don't even I don't I don't sound smart at all in my videos. I just simply talk about through my experiences. I talk about things and I never come off that great in my videos because they're not practiced. I just turn this video on and I just go through it as we're going through it now. Yeah. That you need. And so you're willing to now battle it out with someone and call someone stupid that's on another path because they're not on the path that you're on. And so, man, I hope. No, I'm not calling them that. I'm saying that. Uh, based on my experience going through that and then looking for the answers on other people's experiences and even scientific experiences that that is the answer that was the cause of it i found it see when you go to a doctor uh, an er and you have a disease or something they have to find the root cause of that disease they have to run so many tests why do they do that so they could find the root cause of it to treat your problem you understand me even though you're the problem that is not the problem. You're the problem because you were the cause of it. Now they have to go and they have to treat you. <laughs> it's a business. Do you understand me? You're, you're suffering. So don't suffer and then they won't be in business. This is bringing you to a new freaking place, man. Maybe not Genetic Beast because he has to do this in order to freaking get views, man. But if there's anyone else, man, that has stayed with me this long, you've changed. Change, change, change. I don't know why everybody's so so in, in that enamored with my success because my channel is growing. It's almost at a thousand within two, a two-month period. You have to understand, I had a channel previously, okay, and I lost it. So, yeah, it's not just based on I'm making these slave videos and all of a sudden my success is going through the roof. They may have a good majority. Yeah, for sure, there's new people joining. The old people, probably they're not joining. But definitely because I, because I came out with a, a new thing called slave videos, <laughs> these lifting slave videos, yeah, definitely, maybe. I'm doing something different nobody else has done before on YouTube. Making slave videos, lifting slave, gym slave, fitness slave. I don't know. I wasn't sure if I could ever use that terminology, but then I read the rules and it said, yeah, you could. So, okay, so I'm not breaking any rules. A parody is not a crime on YouTube, okay? Parody is not a crime on YouTube. This concludes this video, and until the next one, catch ya! Well, that was an interesting video, man. That was really long. I'll see you in the next one. Tell what you think about that. Like, subscribe, support the channel. Yeah. I, uh, fruits are science prison. Uh, fruits are not poison. Fruits are poison. They're poisonous. They are poison. I'll see you in the next one, friends. Ciao. <laughs> that was interesting. I don't know. Sorry it was so long.